Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim, and welcome to my channel. Well, this is sort of an ad hoc video that I'm putting together tonight because I'm making some modifications to the 1997-98 uh, speeder bike that was produced by Hasbro. And you'll see that I've got uh, bits and pieces of a speeder bike here, and uh, this one's missing this uh, fairing fan at the front. I think that's what you call it. And uh, this one's fairly complete. Uh, and then this is the Hasbro release of the Hoth speeder bike, and it's just a real piece of junk. And I'll talk a little bit about that. So I bought these three of Mercari for $15. And, you know, that's a heck of a deal to get a speeder bike in that condition. Uh, it's complete. And this one's more or less complete, even has the bottom gun. And then this one, of course, obviously is, is just kind of a parts vehicle. From my one that I had as a kid, the landing gear popped up and down really easily with the, with the flaps here. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of resistance, uh, but it's a lot better than it was. This one... Notice that it, uh, oops, I guess that's not hooked up here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and push that back in. Let it snap into place. All right, so watch what happens with these flaps. I mean, it just kind of hangs in place. That was not the case with the vintage Kenner speeder bike. And uh, th these don't like to stay in. So there's a couple modifications that I did to these. And uh, on the first one, well, well, the flaps just happened to, to not move at all. So what I did is I loosened them up by creating more clearance. Now, believe it or not, this black pay, uh, plate here is pot metal. I thought it was plastic, but it clearly is metal. Because I started uh, trying to scrape it off with, uh, with my knife and just gently get uh, scrape off enough what I thought was plastic so I'd have enough clearance for these flaps but still it was uh, it was not happening and I'm like well plastic should be uh, coming off a lot easier than that and, uh, and it ended up really shiny and I'm like well what kind of plastic is this well you can clearly see that's pot metal so this whole back plate is pot metal so what I ended up doing was taking this diamond tip off the Dremel and kind of rounding it off as best I could without creating a flat edge. And then I used the same tip on this plastic here and just wore away on that inside right there. Not on the outside because I still wanted it to snap in place and not fall off. Uh, if you use just a regular wood bit on that, it'll chew things up. This is too soft a plastic. It's it's not a, a styrene plastic. It's more of an ABS. And so this diamond tip really worked quite nicely on it. It uses the second largest size of the uh, Dremel collet, in case you're looking for that. So once I did that, uh, then you can see that it 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 moves nice nicely then it still had a bit of a hang up and uh, so what happens is is that the clearance here notice how nicely that springs I and mean, it's a very powerful spring for its size uh, it was just happened to be physics it's just the angle that once it attaches to the flap prevents things from uh coming down quite as smooth. So let's see if we can get that to snap back in all the way. There we go. And you'll see it does that. Oops, it snapped back off again. That was pretty typical of the uh, of the Kenner ones. It's got a little bit of uh, stiffness in it yet. This one's pretty good. So what I ended up doing was taking a heat gun to this little arm. I'll detach it again right here. And you could use a hair dryer too. It just takes a little longer. You want to be careful using a heat gun because it gets up to 400 degrees. And just heat that area up. Take off the flap, of course. And then take an ice pack and cool it back down, setting the distance away that you need. So this needed to be just a little bit cockeyed to where it met the angle that that comes down. And then that freed things up really nicely. Again, you can see how stiff this is. I mean, nice spring action. 
but once I hook up the 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 flap, then it's just totally stiff. I mean, it doesn't spring at all. Now, what I hope to do is to create a Hoth speeder bike out of one of these. And then uh, the other one, I, I think I will give to my son for Christmas. And uh, probably this uh, this complete one here. So I'll probably modify this one. I just need to get the nose. Maybe I'll steal this one off of it. Because this, this is this uh, speeder bike that came with a two-pack uh, with some Biker Scouts. Now these, instead of having a spring in there, it just uses plastic and there's plastic tension. And so it looks like it works really well, but there's actually no spring. And so consequently, when once you get the flaps in there, uh, it doesn't sit level. Like these, those springs keep those speeder bikes sitting up. This has got a case of sagitis. I mean, this thing just, it's just horribly done. In addition, it doesn't explode. You press this and nothing happens. So I want to make a Hoth speeder bike that explodes and actually sits up properly. This is, in my opinion, just a piece of junk. Even though it still has the same copyright date. I mean, they've they've even fused the whole thing together. It's, it's quite sad. I mean, the Imperial markings are nice. So I don't know if I'll just break the whole thing apart and... Uh, reuse it on this side and just just really not sure how i'm going to go about that because those imperial markings are going to be pretty hard to duplicate unless maybe i get some uh maybe i'll get some stickers that might be the thing to do well anyway uh hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did if you liked what you saw you know making those night those power of the force two ones more useful then awesome take care we'll see you on another video